It's the matchmaker here, Letitia Underwood. So I wanted to dispel the rumor about high value men. Uh, as much as I appreciated Kevin Samuels, as much as I appreciated what he had to say, um, may he rest in heaven. I just want to dispel the talking point that people have picked up on, especially men, especially men in the lower social economic classes, that they have erroneously have gotten wrong about high value men there are two types of men there are men who desire marriage and family and there are men who do not men who do not desire marriage and family will practice their options men who are new to money as they get older they will practice their options but eventually they all will have to settle down because that is required of the higher socioeconomic classes family right family, community, society, those are that's the foundation of the higher socioeconomic classes. So when you see a high value man with no family, he's having fun, he's a bachelor, that will not last very long. He will only be invited into certain social circles, certain social circles in certain settings. They do not those men, high value men do not trust single men. So all this rhetoric of we are exercising our options no high value men are very disciplined men they know they have a lot to lose there is a huge difference between high value men and high earning men men just because a man makes a lot of money does not mean he's high value there's a reason why kevin did not include entertainers celebrities um in that you're we're talking about men who are movers and shakers men who have an influence men who have power men who are on that path they're seeking that right they're ambitious they're influential they're seeking power they're they have to be disciplined they're risk takers but they have to be disciplined in how they move not saying that they won't one might not cheat one might not uh have a mistress but that is something that is going to be under wraps and quiet he is not out here trying to really embarrass his wife and family even though sometimes it inadvertently happens but they are not out here just sleeping from with women after women after women. Those are young boys at that level, right? They're in their teens, they're in their 20s, maybe early 30s. But at some point, those young men are all expected to get in line, start a, get married, start a family, and pass down their legacy. So you're seeing a lot of those men, high-value men, will practice their options, exercise their options. That is amongst wishful thinking lower class men who are trying to project themselves into that uh frame or two that is men from the lower socioeconomic classes who are starting to make money but they have not leveled up and ma truly matriculated into the higher socioeconomic classes they are not quite high value they're just high earners so again high value men do not exercise options when they are family men when they are committed when you have one that is talking about exercising options he doesn't want marriage bypass him go the other way do not allow the money to woo you and pull you in a high value man who is looking for commitment is not going to have that frame of mind